Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy PJ Too Hot. Just to you know, tell y'all some few things. Not much, but SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 has just been announced, and it's been announced for for um PS3, Xbox 360, iPhone, iPad, which is interesting. Uh, the PSP, and Nintendo DS, Wii, and PlayStation 2. So yes, it will be on PS2. As is what it says on here. Now I'm just gonna click on this version. They haven't said much about it, just saying it's been announced and just no official coverage, just that. Um so far it says lace up your tights, strap on your mask, and fluff up your bra and panties. The WWE superstars and divas make a return in eleven for more madness on the map. Now, like I said, it's just the same thing. So iPads not on here. It says iPhone, but who cares? Um, it says THQ confirms it. SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 new WWE title. Um, THQ president and CEO Brian Farrell. I well, well. <clears throat> sorry, I got. I don't know my throat. Anyways, um, it's CEO Brian Farrell. Well, I can't pronounce his name. I don't care. Confirmed. On the company's financial call this afternoon, plans to release a new SmackDown vs. Raw game this fall and a new unannounced WWE product. <laughs> I have a little stuttering problem, so you, if you can't understand what I'm saying, I'm just messing up a lot because I try to talk so fast. Anyways, um, as we near E3, I'm reading, I'm reading like right there, down there. Anyways, um. <laughs> As we near E3, we get better sense of what games we sell. The big E3 list complies all the games confirmed by publishers and developers. There are plenty more games we know, we know or expect the list isn't those. These are the things that we be in this articles. I, I might read them soon. Okay, discussions, community thread, the WWE pay per view contest. Hold on, let me. What tag teams you make me proud of? Them. Okay, these are boards and those things. Anyway, let's read the article. The newest one, since this is, they both were released May 5th. I mean, they both were. Um, so far, um, so far I've read the game comes out October 31st, 2010. So that's what it could change. It's not official, but as right now. Okay, I read this part. E3 in June announced that it be. Oh yeah. From, to a new release, whenever Mr. Raw game this fall, and a new unannounced WWE product, both of these titles, as well as previous announced WWE Online, will be shown at E3 in this June. So, in June, SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 and SmackDown vs. Raw Online, which right here says WWE Online, but the trailer I saw says SmackDown vs. Raw Online. Doesn't matter. They both are going to be shown in E3. I guess they're going to show gameplay and the new features and all that will be shown in E3. So PC gets SmackDown vs. Raw Online and consoles get the um the real franchise SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. For Block, for, I can't even pronounce that word. Um, 2011. We plan to deliver enough high quality high quality WWE SmackDown vs. Raw game this fall. Building on the billion dollar game franchise stated fair for uh, I can't pronounce his name. We also plan to give live WWE online and carry later this year. We will be demonstrating both the games at E3 as well as unveiling um, a new WWE brand extension at the show, which is going to be NXT. Since they canceled ECW, it's, it's no longer going to be SmackDown Mr. Rock 2011 featuring ECW. It's going to be, well, SmackDown vs. Raw featuring so that it's going to be SmackDown vs. Raw featuring NXT, or it might just be SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, and, but, but, but NXT and all that's going to be in it, but it's just not going to say featuring, it's just going to be SmackDown vs. Raw. Who knows? There, there were no other details about, uh, about either title. This announcement should be no surprise to wrestling fans. Last December, THQ signed an eight-year agreement with WWE giving the company exclusive worldwide publishing rights. THQ will reveal today SmackDown Raw 2010 shipped nearly 4 million units. 
Wow. So, as I've heard, so as this says right here, it says, let me see how much time I got. Okay, I get five minutes. As this says right here, it says that, um, basically, I, so far as I hear it, and as I'm thinking of it right now, I think that, that WWE has now has his rights to the game, so I guess they can decide some stuff too. Who knows? So I guess they signed the contract with WWE giving them publishing rights, so I guess they can decide, I guess that they can decide how the case looks or a couple, I have no idea. So anyways, let's see if we can, I got enough time to read the other article. Let's go back again. Okay. Other article. My internet's going slow because I'm recording with this screen thing and I went back too far. Holy crap, I hit my internet when it does this. My internet, my internet is usually faster than this. Just when I record with the screen recorder, it goes completely slow. Okay. It is. I don't know if this is anything about something that's wrong. If it's not, I'm not going to worry about it. Because I don't see anything about this press conference. I don't see anything about something that's wrong. Yep, yeah, I don't see anything. Basically, just that was just to tell you that the new Spent Night Versus Raw 2011 has just been announced and um, it's supposed to be released this fall. So, as as basically all of them be released, but just right here it says release date October 2010. I don't know what day of October it just says dot October 2010. It doesn't say like 11 or 31st or something. But when I read it, where the article said 31st, but this says October 2010. Well, I might it might still be 31st. But anyways, this is your boy PJ2 Hot. Peace.